I've seen. How's that for an entrance? Well, good afternoon, people. It's Richie from Drifter Man X here. Uh, I've got uh, Ryan's Traxxas X Max 8S with its new Mad Max tyres fitted. Check out these beasts. They just, to my mind, just transform the way it looks. You question, you'd look at these, you sit in reality and think, why didn't they fit this pattern uh, as uh, stock? Speaking of stock tyres, got the uh, original one here, here. What are the differences? Well, the major difference, obviously, uh, is in the tyre tread, uh, the pattern on here. Are they any wider? Mm, they're virtually the same width as the um, original uh, stock tyres are. The main difference, obviously, the tread pattern on here. So, anyhow, the biggest difference is the Mad Max tyres, don't you just love these wheel dots uh, on there? Are just marginally I hope you can see that on there marginally larger diameter on there so that's obviously gonna have a slight impact on your gear and you're gonna to need to be uh, aware of that if you go down this route and fit these tires on here when it comes to tire profile these are much bigger profile than the new Mad Max ones which are much lower profile this should uh, help its high-speed handling uh, Ryan does tell me though it doesn't appear to make a massive difference to the handling so far uh, but I'm gonna put it through a few tests run it on a bit of blacktop run it on a bit of grass uh, run it on a bit of dirt and see if we get any noticeable differences but I am uh, trusting Ryan and when he says it doesn't make a huge amount of difference uh, but you will have a slightly stiffer sidewall uh, with it being a lower profile than the original tires so let's power up get on with the test well we're all powered up so on with the body, which is fairly uh, simple job normally. Uh, typically this will go wrong on camera when I do it. Uh, push that down, twist this across, and there you are, locked. That's strong enough to lift the X-Max off the ground with now. Love this car. So, let's roll. Being a bit more careful on the brakes this time. Ooh. Well, initial thought, it feels a little bit tighter to my mind to uh, to drive. Not rolling, maybe not quite as much body steer in the uh, bump, sorry, not quite as much body roll uh, in the corners. It does seem to be holding a little bit bigger, but you would expect that from that uh, slightly lower sidewall profile. So, let's go find some dirt to play on. If these get any more grip or less grip on the uh, loose dirt with a variance in tread pattern. So, let's see. Oh, plenty of bite, plenty of bite. Not going to go too mad in here because this is a big car to use in this small area here. Oh, I'm liking these tyres. I'm liking these, Ryan. Definitely, definitely an improvement over stock for sure. Initial. They certainly seem to handle better all round. Initial thought, you really can feel that, well, I'm. I'd say you really can feel the difference, that's maybe my perception. I'm not driven it too much with the old tyres on, uh, or in its AS format. Um, nicely recovered there. But it brakes pretty well on them. Um, it uh, doesn't seem to want to end over end as much, or maybe that's me getting used to the braking of it a bit. So, its performance on dirt, quite impressive. I was a little bit sceptical as to whether they were going to get the bite on it. They're actually getting, I would say, more bite than the stock tyres are. Explore with it when I was with Ryan the other day was its slow going ability over bigger rocks. And as to how much grip or not, my error there. Wrong line, you've got to be very careful it, uh, with the power here. That big rock would stop most things. Don't want to give it too much gas. That's pretty impressive. They, uh, they appear to have got quite a lot of grip, even at low speed. I know everybody is going to be bashing their X-Maxes and things, but this maybe just slows you its uh, slow speed ability and agility as well. Just check out that suspension working. Quite nicely, and you can go over quite big rocks with this kind of uh, ground clearance, but you've got to be, that re reverse is vicious though, uh, as it is in its forward motion, if I mishandle. A bit of full throttle launch on the blacktop, see what it'll do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They got plenty of bite. It breaks better on them. Definitely breaks better on them. On the uh, on the. 
definitely, definitely it brakes better on a blacktop than the uh, with the stock tyres. So if you're running on blacktop a lot of tarmac, definitely, definitely, woo, yeah, really doesn't want to end up. It just brakes damn hard on these. Still really under any mode of throttle though going. Getting a bit more used to handling it, which is taking a bit something very armor-like in uh, many respects. And you've got to faith in it to stop it uh, when it's coming towards you like that. Bearing in mind, this thing would break both my ankles without any problem whatsoever. We'll try and avoid that there. Woo! Always mindful of anything big on there. Woo! Like trees, trees. Always avoid the trees, Rich. Always look behind you. So, highly, highly impressive on the black top there with these uh, Mad Max tires fitted. So let's go and have a play in the big field on some uh, grass, see what performance we okay. get out of so, it. So, loose surface. Even pulling away on this uh, sort of semi-loose surface, it's bundling very, very impressively. And those brakes are, uh, with the tires, they've just transformed the braking in my mind. Maybe I'm getting a little better at, uh, at doing it. Let's see. No, it's still very good, even on grass, on the, under heavy braking on grass. It's not wanting to... Uh, End over end as much, oh, it's maybe me getting a little better on the braking. Uh, and let's try those high speed turns there. Ooh, nice to recover there, Rich. Nice to recover. Ooh. Keep on with the show. My friend Al can uh, drive one of these on two wheels, and I'm not quite sure. Oh, being a bit careful there. Ooh, I can't do it for very long. Oh, and our batteries, we probably lasted, I don't know, maybe, oh, our batteries, I think, are going down a bit on there. We've had a little noticeable uh, slow up on the uh, the power there, so let's see if we've got any more. Nope, batteries definitely, ooh, definitely going. The awesome Traxxas 8S X Max. How much fun was that today? An absolute blast, let me be assured. Ryan, you may have cost me a lot of money as I now do want to get one of these. Uh, it's not, um, it handles differently to my armors. It's similar to some of my armors in many ways, only much, much bigger. Uh, it, that punch off the line and the, the standing wheelies at any speed, very much like the armor Outcast. But the main thing about this car, today was the Mad Max tyres which uh, Ryan's had fitted. Very very impressed with these. Uh, overall it does feel different uh, to the car I drove the other day. I may be getting a little bit more used to it. It definitely definitely uh, seems to have got a lot more grip with these tyres. Braking performance vastly improved. Uh, the longer high speed turns not too much of a difference. Uh, lower speed and the grip on a multitude of surfaces seems far better with the Mad Max tyres. So I hope you like this review. If you did, then please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Well, if you like this video, then please do subscribe. And if you want to buy your RC gear, where I buy mine, buy from FM Hobbies in New Jersey. Many thanks for watching.